as I said, only when every single citizen on earth participates actively in this exercise of introspection and does not attempt any piece of work that he might have to attend considering its significance or importance in his life or her life only then will this exercise be of import be uh, only then will this exercise yield result only then now this exercise as i said of introspection now introspection 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 and keeping quiet keeping quiet keeping quiet synonymous synonymous they're all they're synonymous introspection keeping quiet introspection is when I sit down or when an individual sits down and thinks about the actions his deeds in the past what went wrong where it went wrong how a certain act how 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 the result of a certain act in the past could have been averted or changed could have yielded a better result so i'm looking in words when one looks in words one introspects and one keeps to oneself therefore keeping quiet there is one very strange thing the poet insists that he would make use of a count of 12 and if you consider the number of letters in the title keeping quiet they are also 12 in number so there's a unity a lot of thought has gone into the composition of this poem of this piece of poetry now having delved on why he insists that he would make use of a count of 12 only not 3 the count that we use to commence an activity in the contemporary world but 12 he proceeds to list the immediate and long term bene benefits of this exercise immediate and long term benefits of this exercise and it appears as if Pablo Neruda may have in the beginning thought of how he would impress upon the humanity of the long term effects of uh, uh, introspection or keeping quiet however not to talk of long term effects the poet forwards the thought of Pablo Neruda forwards many immediate benefits of this exercise of introspection or keeping quiet. Now, <clears throat> before he moves on to talk of the immediate and long term benefits of this exercise, he makes it mandatory, which I've already discussed. How important it is for every one of us to participate only when this exercise has a universal touch will it result in benefits otherwise the this such such a uh, mega exercise would uh, be of no avail at all now he says should such an exercise be ever undertaken it would be a rare moment exotic is the word that he uses exotic why because never before has such an exercise of such a magnitude been ever undertaken exotic therefore exotic 
and the entire world would be enveloped in quietude. 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 All right. So, it says, for example, for example, now, before he uh, gives, before he exemplifies uh, his thought process, he says, uh, it is absolutely important for man to introspect once in a while. Because, as in when man opens his mouth, he opens it to argue. As in when man, and it is absolutely essential for man to sit quiet and introspect. Why? Because, as in when man uh, moves his hands and legs, he moves in, he moves his hands and legs to fight. So once the exercise of introspection sets in, both both argument and fighting of any kind would be ruled out. So argument, arguing and fighting would be ruled out once this exercise of introspection sets in. Now, thereafter he says, having said that it would be an exotic moment and that as in when man opens his mouth to utter a word, he opens it to argue and as in when man moves his hands and legs, he moves it in, in an attempt to overpower others and hence the importance of introspection once in a while. <coughs> He goes on to list immediate and long-term benefits. He proceeds by saying, as if he were saying long-term benefits can be delved into a little later on, the immediate benefit would be man, there would be no one destroying nature. He says, there would be no one wailing. On the other hand, man would realize how in his attempt to exploit the natural bounty indiscriminately, he has hurt, he has uh, inflicted irreparable damage on nature and in return how nature has also inflicted damage on human beings, has, has hurt him. So hurt hands. He would look, he would consider the damage that nature has inflicted on mankind. Now, these are immediate benefits. He says because everyone on earth would be busy introspecting, there would be no one, no scientist busy devising sophisticated weaponry because everyone would be busy introspecting. It isn't there is hardly any need of it because mankind has at his disposal already sophisticated, far more sophisticated weaponry which can bring if a war has ever waged the entire world to an end and there would be no one to celebrate victory. As it is, mankind has at his disposal an array of biological and chemical and traditional weapons. So because everyone would be busy introspecting, there would be no one on earth devising sophisticated weaponry. All right. On the other hand, he says, this exercise of introspection would result in a very important realization. And the realization that would dawn on mankind would be that of the importance of universal brotherhood universal brotherhood. All of a sudden, as if mankind would realize 